also give them blood, blood, gallons of the stuff. Give them all that they can drink and it will never be enough. So give them blood, blood, blood. Grab a glass because there's going to be a flood. As YouTubers, we get a lot of weird comments. Believe me, I know. But should you be told that you deserve jail because you're talking about periods? Hello, I'm Mr G and welcome back to another one of my videos. Today I'm talking about Erin Duggan, aka Beauty Creep, and how she got a strange comment on one of her vlogs about periods. Erin is a Scottish vlogger who's been on the platform for about eight years and talks about all sorts of things from Scotland, creepy stuff and life in general. She recently released a video entitled I Try Period Pants Again, Week in the Life of a Period. It got a few thousand views on the video and the comments were pretty supportive, except for this one. I, a man and citizen of the world, hereby proclaim this video unconstitutional. You, mum, deserve to be in jail. So she should go to jail for talking about something that has no bearing on your life whatsoever. Hmm. Not everything on YouTube is about you. You see, there are worse things on YouTube than talking about a natural human bodily function. Let's take a look at a clip from her video. As usual, I'm starting out this period vlog to say I don't have my period yet. It's coming. It's a coming. It, no, it really is coming though. Um, stop saying coming. I'm at that stage right now where I am so motivated that it's like sickening. Uh, I wish I was like this all the time. Last time this happened, or that last time I felt this motivated, I joined a library <laughs> and did like other YouTube stuff. But this time, I've decided to go back to uni. I'm going to start studying again. I'm going to do an open uni course, hopefully. Maybe not this year, because I think I've left it too late. But next year, I'm going to start studying again. Social work, possibly. I also had a bout of road rage yesterday that I wasn't proud of. I just generally feel more excitable, and I want to talk in depth about everything. And that's how I know that I'm getting my period. Like, I just, I get so philosophical about everything and I overthink everything. I overthink everything anyway, but like right now I'm, it's like, and I get emotional easier, you know, and I want a baby, <laughs> get on. And yeah, I just need to calm down really. Now looking at her video, all she is doing is sharing her thoughts and feelings about her period. Why is this a bad thing? Why do some men feel that they need to control some women's bodies? After getting a comment from the troll, Erin took to Twitter with this tweet. A man commented on my new vlog saying I deserve to be in jail. Imagine. So what did you do? I talked about my period in the video. Some of the replies were pretty hilarious. Oh no, the horror. Too bad his mom missed her period and had him. Wow, what does he expect you to get? A padded cell? Men trying to control women and their body yet again. It's getting old already. He's probably talking about the dream murders. Wow, what a weak little man. The power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ compels you. I command you by the judge of the living and the dead to depart from the servant of God. It's the power. Holy water. Oh. Oh. It's the power of Christ that compels you. The power of Christ compels you. THE POWER OF CHRIST COMPELS YOU! THE POWER OF CHRIST COMPELS YOU! Looking at Erin's channel, it's a mixture of different content, and if he was a fan of hers, all he had to do was bypass any videos that's got anything to do with periods. I watch a lot of YouTubers myself, and sometimes they do things that I'm not interested in, so I just bypass those videos. Personally, I commend Erin for talking about this because it does mean a lot to her and the women who watch her channel. And if it helps some people along the way, that's a good thing, isn't it? Personally, I'm not interested in that kind of video, but looking at the rest of her channel, her stuff is quite fun. So let's take a look at the Trolls channel. Well, he has 34 subs and 4 videos, mostly about his late dog. I don't think he's going to win hearts and minds with his views in the comment section or his channel. In fact, I think he did Erin a favour because she then had an internet article about her. And because of that internet article, I then got to know she existed. Until then, I didn't know who she was. And I imagine a lot of other people didn't either. Moral of the story, you gotta love a troll. Personally, I think he came across as a bit of a bellend and there isn't a cure for that. So what do you think to it all? Do you think the troll's comment was a bit over the top? Do you think he should have just passed on by if the subject didn't interest him? I would love to hear from you in the comment section. 
I hope you like this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you all soon. Bye for now. Also give the blood, blood, gallons of the stuff. Give them all that they can drink and it will never be enough. So give them blood, blood, blood. Grab a glass because there's going to be a flood.